We're going to see Winters versus Hobart. Um, what is this? Losers. Loser. Round four for seventh. So, yeah. Oh, we have a win tie. Yeah. Here, uh, here, update. I fixed it. I fixed it. Didn't oh, I? you did. Okay, just didn't update. Yeah, yeah, so I got I it. So I believe I'm checking my notes, but I believe the winner of this will qualify for the playoffs. Playing, yes, that is correct. So this, is, this is hot. This is for a lot, not just two moves on. Yeah, there's definitely a lot riding on this game right now. We'll see who they play like the like their lives depend on it. There's the jabs coming through the gentleman. I wonder, I'm not sure, if Falcon's command grab up B, can it be Wondering? As Hobart tried to kind of go for it there, but does it work and will we see it? You know, because I did that on stream against the, the banjo I played, and everyone was like popping off in the crowd. I was like, it's just the matchup, bro. <laughs> just beat Burns away with command grabs. I mean, yeah, because like, you know, that's just what you do. Yeah, grab is thankfully able to beat it, otherwise maybe the move would be a problem, but it's, it's banjo because he yeah, like, it can definitely catch you if you're trying to be a little too aggressive, but if you see it coming, the grab is going to come as well. You know what I mean? You could just snag him right out of it. Um, but right now, pretty even. Grenade comes through. Oh. Big Falcon kick. You don't see that one every day, but Hobart, just that guy with it. The double wing, and now you're out of wings. you got to find a different way back. I think he's got one more wing, doesn't he? No, he used it. He oh, used did back he? Back-to-back at the ledge. Oh, there. okay. Um, there gets the Falcon dive. Doesn't get the kill just yet. Ah, those bear arms not going to be able to grab on. To the race car driver. Oh, single hit up air. Oh, scary for Hobart, but Winter's weak. not able to secure that kill. The weak knee. The softest of all knees. Exactly. What a soft patella. Gets the grab on the grenade, throws it right back at him. He's just trying to find his way in. And the weak Falcon kick. 192. I feel like up throw with Falcon would even kill here. The, the gentleman does the gentleman. it. One, two, yeah. three. You're out here. There's a full set of wings for Winters as he tries to get that grab. One of Banjo's easiest ways and probably only ways to get reliable kills. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'm wary of that, you know. He's been around this block a few times. Yeah. Scary spot. That shock spring can be a little scary. It well, definitely can. Yeah, good enough recovery that you don't have to worry too, too much about it. Hobart back up to ledge here, tries to go for the jab, gets an F tilt instead. That's a great spot dodge because you were getting yoinked off and spun around if that didn't happen as a back here. This could be big. Hang on. Oh, okay. There's the grab. Time. Tried to go for the read there, but Winter's getting away from it. Yeah, uh, Hobart definitely playing really well right now. He needs to find a way to take the stock, though. Yeah, this, he's playing the scrap game perfect right now. He's, he's in Banjo's face, not allowing him to get anything set up. And, you're at that point where it's like, I gotta get this kill, I got this kill, but you can't tunnel vision fully on it. It will come eventually with time. You know, mistakes like that by Hobart. And then there is a back throw. No, might have been a misinput. I don't know. I don't know if he thought he could get the kill with it. No, no, you were trusted. Oh, and they're flubbing, unfortunately. Up smashes, hit the ghost of Christmas past right there. But you know what? It's all good. It's still early. A lot, of, a lot of time to play with. He drops the shield and gets hit by the gentleman. Now back over to the ledge, gets a grenade in his hands to hold on to his shield back into this corner. Where are you going? I don't know. These guys are just running around like it's a playground right now. Okay, there's a big forwarder. Two for 190. 190 on that kill. Oh my god. Down tilt. Now, this is where we thought we could see it, but it doesn't come out fast enough. Yeah, now we're going to see. Jumps around, gets another Falcon kick. I like to call that the Draxel. Uh, that is the Draxel. Yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Shot There's the a down smash catching their approach. Winter's losing his second stock there. Uh, Hobart in a really good spot. Just chases him down immediately. Goes for the soft knee. Gets that. Tries to go for a Nair as well. All right. That's unfortunate. He's hit like six knees, but they've all been just the soft knee, man. He hasn't gotten that strong one just yet. Everyone has been soft. Unfortunate. If this was melee, like he'd just be he'd be cooking him. Yeah, he must be uh he must be feeling something right now. He's got these weak knees. Tries to get a jump call out there with another. He doesn't really work out. Yeah, but you are still in the lead though, so you can't let fluster you too much though. But Winters is trying to set up a big edge guard situation, trying to go for an early kill. Not gonna pan out just yet. Back, Back air. He has to burn a wing, he got four left, and he's got to probably burn another one here, yep. Yeah, I think it's smart to use those in that exact situation. Maybe good to mix it up here. He does make it back up to ledge with the dash attack as well. Right, because you do have that command grab that is always threatening. That can beat the one wing, I believe, but I haven't seen it yet. There's a big wing coming through, but still not enough. You can call that rage on Banjo. That bear is angry and wants to steal this game. Yeah, I love that recovery from Hobart right now. 
Trying to go for the back air, can't get that. Hobart's still in a really good position. The Briegel Blammer not working out. Neither is the gentleman for Hobart. There's a trade. Falcon or should I just say Falcon Kick? Out. Yeah. Yeah, the trade with the Falcon Kick worked out. And now, Fisher for the Falcon Dive is not going to be enough. The bear rolls in to get the dash attack to kill. I haven't seen that kill, I think, ever. And there's a back air. We've seen that kill a billion times. And that's game one. Yeah, Hobart actually had a few good opportunities right there, right off the Halo platform. Uh, he had him, you know, he had a uh, had him cornered and rolling, right? Yeah. Like three times, Ho like Hobart was just standing there dash dancing, and Winter was just like, "Let me just try to roll past you." You know what I mean? So at mm -hmm. some point, you were getting Falcon's hit. Too fast to catch that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So great play from Hobart. I think Winter's had a really good game himself, but just need to tighten up just a little bit, right? Like you said, at one point he had a an opportunity to get a kill confirm with that grab, but back through instead, correct? Like, so that's something else you have to kind of pay attention to as you're playing. Um, you know, get, don't get caught up in the moment. You know what I mean? Right, right. You still got five games potentially to play with right here. You know, and a, and a lot, like we said at the start, is on the line. No character swaps. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. Why, why would you? You know, I mean, Winter's probably playing the the bear and bird all weekend at Yamal, and then you got Hobart, who's been a Falcon since he came here, man. Yeah, and I mean, like, both of them, I, w I wouldn't call them, well, I guess you can call them character specialists. I mean, like, I know Winters has a snake uh, for certain situations, so. Right. But there's some terrible matchups. Like, he says villager because you just pocket the down B, and then you can't use down B anymore until the villager throws it away, and the villager can just hold it the whole game. Exactly, and then what are you going to do you about keep that? Keep it through death. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing. You can't throw one grenade, and grenade's like... 50% of your neutral. Yeah, goofy as hell as the down tilt comes through, catching Hobart's approach and a good catch with the Wonder Wing. Gonna send Hobart in a bad spot right now. There's the egg, able to make it back up with those magnet hands though. Yo. That was a little scary. We almost just saw Nate need just a big reversal from Hobart. That would have been just... insane. The Briegel Blammer up tilt, and that is a confirm for Winters. Very nice stuff right there. <laughs> That's what I call it. It is called the Briegel Blaster. That's yeah. And then if we get a side B to the knee, Hobart finally hitting that strong knee to steal back any momentum Winters was building. Now Winters on the ledge trap gets that Nair, Nade Bear, and one hit of Bear for all that 2%, baby. Jesus, and one knee brings up the 24. Yeah, unfortunately that's not melee though. It's not the strongest option from ledge. Yeah, for sure. Gets the up air, gets an F tilt as well, but they trade. Hobart making it back to the stage. Here we go. Falcon dive. Be catch the dive. It's called a dive. Here you go he goes up. up. Yeah, I always thought that was weird. Everyone always says that. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta make it back there. You can't hang out there forever if you're Falcon. You know. Yeah, charges up with the down smash. Sends Winters to the other side of the stage, giving a little tour of Pokemon Stadium too. All the fans are really excited that they're. You know, they may have paid like 20 bucks for those tickets, right? But they're getting the, the full experience because yeah. like, all the action's coming to my side now. Yeah, full money's worth from underneath the stage. Gotta love that seating. Um, <laughs> They yeah. look like they're way underneath. Yeah, they're in the corner there, but like those guys are in like the nosebleeds, right? They probably paid like yeah, twenty bucks for the ticket, but now it's like, oh, the battle's here now. <laughs> I, this is worth every penny. The people in the middle are like, what the hell is this? Yeah, I can't spent see a nothing. Bucks on this. Can't see nothing. So Winters I sold all my Pokemon for that. <laughs> sold your Pokemon? Jeez, that's like selling a pet. <laughs> like, I think you can like so wild sell and donate your Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Probably, I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works. He sold all his items for his bag. That's there you go, there you go, yeah. yeah. That's the one you can't, I know. Whoa! Where are you going? He's going under PS2, but you can't do that. Yeah, that's rough for Winters right there. Now we're going to see an even game, but Winters right me. off the bat! Yo, that's he's it. dead! No, he's not, no, he's okay. not. Okay. He, yeah, he, he saved the jump. jump, yeah. He did. Enough air drift from Falcon there. He did take 83% though, and counting down tilt. Gonna read a roll, and that's gonna be your death with the side B. Winters! Winting! What an amazing stock, a big wind moment right there for Winters. Because the tech call odds, two of them with the wings, perfect. Yeah, he, he got him. for much more. The thing about that is, like, what else is he supposed to do, right? Like, right, you get in that right. situation. You could, like, maybe set up a projectile for, like, a combo there. Like, you could set up the Briegel, cancel it, and do the Wonder Wing. But that's actually, like, a really hard uh, confirm. I mean, yeah, why do that when you can just wait for him to choose an option, right? True, like, he's either going to roll forward, backwards, or get up. <laughs> right, you only have three. Or get up attack. You have four options there. Exactly. So you just wait. And then whatever 20 does, you just press the button and win. <laughs> yeah, like he was losing the boxing game earlier in the first game, but like that last stock, he just won every in-your-face interaction, and then two tech reads gets in the game. And we're going to Kalos Pokemon League. That's the counter pick. I mean, you do get a wall jump. Oh, no, big misinput, but you're only taking seven. 30. Yeah, a little bit more. 
And you're in a bad spot, so you get grabbed for that. Yeah, Callus platform, one of the worst spots to be in in the game. That's why I always ban this stage. For sure. I don't want to get caught there and then just zoned out, you know? Yeah, and right now Winter is doing a really good job, but there's the get-up attack. Hobart off the stage right now. Now okay. Winter's off the stage, gives up that stage control right there. The two of them, like, go for these off-stage plays and get off stage control so much, but then they just take it right back from each other, it seems. Yeah, it's just like they slide right back onto the stage. That's a Falcon kick and a Sun Winter's off yet again, trying to catch the Falcon dive. I like that he went low this time. Yeah, to, like, You know, maybe catch him going to the ledge or something. Maybe look for a ledge trump there. Right, but ledge trumps, ledge trumps are pretty difficult, and then Banjo would just likely press one wing again and be fine, you know? Or just shock spring up, and then you just miss your opportunity. That's fair. Shooting out the egg right there. Gonna catch the jump with the side B. Gonna That's take enough. a stock. That rage is gonna assist, especially because Kalos is so big with the rage will be enough. Hobart going down first stock. And That's the last wing. There's no more for the table. You gotta go older more. There's the Nair, tries to go for the back air for Hobart there. Another Falcon kick, sending him down. That's that's the Hobart. I'm now calling that the Hobart. Like everyone in this town, I give like that's the that's the this person. That's the this yeah. Person. That's the Hobart, man. Yeah. Like, empty hop, Falcon kick, and it catches you off guard every time. It's working every time, just like those two Nairs back to back. Tries to go, f jump back in, but the grenade working out for Winter is giving him a little bit of space and time. Do an SDI to get out of that jab because that could have been a really serious situation if you were stuck on the platform. You just <laughs> that bird's beak forever, you know. Exactly. Oh, and just like this. Does get out eventually, though. Not too, too bad. Could be worse. Definitely. If that was Mewtwo. Oh boy. Yeah, you're just in a bad spot. If that's Mewtwo, but who plays Mewtwo? Looking for the down air, not gonna work. Does get this one. <gasps> oh, baby had the read, didn't get it. Couldn't get the knee after the uh, what is it? Uh, Raptor boost. Raptor boost. Yes. The yes. Raptor boost. I like fair. how you're sending that read here. You know, just shake him in your boots because if you get a lead, that's gonna put a lot of uh, mental damage. You know, and you can just keep pounding the, the lead right there to get the game. There's a Falcon kick going straight this time, not diagonal. Yeah, right through the egg, gets a back air, trades with the grenade, and that's going to be a big kill for Hobart. Yeah, unfortunately, Winters was not ready to react with the DI there. Died for it, and now Hobart's starting to chain him across Kalos. Okay. Yep. I thought that was going to be a grab, but it doesn't I, matter. F tilt safe. I thought it was going to be a falling off air, to be completely yeah. honest with you. Oh, it, it could have been. Yeah, Hobart was nice like that. Yeah. But like, Banjo got no out of shield game, so you can kind of do whatever you want if you whiff something on his shield. Yeah, a little bit more imagination, but there's a side B. Now you're stuck off stage, gets hit by one egg, no down tilt. That angle is horrifying if you get hit by it. Could be dead at like 70 if you're a bad character with a bad recovery or something. Yeah, you can just kind of die real early too as the up air sneaks in for Hobart right there, trying to look for an F tilt, but Winter is right above him. Falcon Kick puts him in the corner, but he's able to roll away from the grab attempt, so now we're back into neutral here. I love how Hobart waited there a moment, but not going to get the reading one with the knee. Now he's going to find his way back on. Oh! I love that. Okay, huge combo. Try to go for the dive. Not going to get it. Might go for it again. Oh, just going to play the ledge trap game. Yeah, Hobart's definitely playing really smart with that Wonder Wing now, but there's the down tilt coming through. I don't know how many more wings Winters has, but you got to make sure you hold him for the last stock. Because here we are on that last stock, and that backs our yeet off stage. Oh my god, just trying to run in and knee him immediately as Hobart off the Halo platform. Yeah, just wanted to end it right there and there. Yeah, but there's an air coming through as well. Tex away, needs an F tilt for it. Sent it all with the one wing, but you have one more chance to come back with it. That's the last wing right there. Now, now it's time to play real smart. You don't got any wings to kind of bail you out as the Nair comes through. Right, you don't want to be stuck in a tough entry situation because you'll just get down something by Falcon, potentially lose your life in the game, which is just the finest way back. He does have three jumps, though. I can't forget about that. But he does have three jumps. That's the tilt. tilt. I love how he angled it up there to cover that jump. Yeah, but Hobart getting the back air continues his pressure. Throws the egg, gets a weak knee yet again. Could have been a game ender, but can't connect. Unfortunate right there. Don't want to let this slip. Big dash tech rolling in, and now Witches is on the ledge trap, but pops the down smash early. Oh my goodness, tried to go for the up tilt, not going to connect right there, but does get an air, so Hobart now in control yet again. He's got Winters in a tough spot, blows himself up with a nade, falling down in from Banjo, still not enough, even though they buffed that for some reason. Where's oh. the game? I thought That's he was a gonna have There's the fair! Ah, good catch on the tech roll out by Winters, popping off a little, going up 2-1. to one. Huge momentum shift for him right there after a shaky start on the first two games. Yeah, an interesting thing there was, um, to me, mm -hmm. um, Hobart, if he hits that tech there, 
That's yes. sh- like he doesn't die, like pretty much, right? Like because then because Winters can't like he would probably be able to react to cover. I don't think anyone would be able to react to cover that one. Exactly. So very unfortunate to see him miss that attack because then Winters is in such a good position just to throw up tilt didn't hit throw to fair as well. Yeah, up tilt I don't think goes high enough on the Kalos platform. I know PS2 that would work. I think exactly. Not yeah, Kalos. It's a little yeah. higher there at the church. Yeah. If anything, it was back to the church. If anything, it was like wishful thinking, but we will see a game three, I mean game four, I apologize, game coming in here. four, this is, look at, this is where we go. I want this to go to five. I don't, I don't, I want both these guys to win, but only one can walk away with this. Hobart, stuck on stage. Yeah, he's going to make it right back on there, though. Tries to go for it, get some up airs coming in, tries to go for the jab as well, but able to break out his winters. Now we're just back in that neutral Hobart. Hobart's done a good job for the most part, not getting hit by too many um, eggs and projectiles. There was that obviously the egg to up tilt the one game, but not too many like grenades that are just stray hitting him. Yeah, like to get the shield out or you just dodge him. He attacks the footstool. He is. Oh, hit. oh no! Another attack. Winters is all over these attacks and missed attacks today. Yeah, and Hobart's dead. The, the spring shock pad and Winters takes his first lead. Yeah, that was very unfortunate if you're a Hobart fan right there because just he, he got kind of caught in a weird spot getting a down air. Looking for the knee, gets a jab instead, and there's the gentleman. Do you have the frame shot there for you are Falcon? Oh, but no. He's 24 right there. He is winting. The winting is starting up. But it's winting hours. Ah, burn a few too many wings there. You, you got to pace yourself there as he only has one left. It's the first stock. It is first stock. Got burned there. Jab somehow. Interesting. The one hit of jab, and that went just out of wings. And he sent off stage. He does have that grenade to help him out, yep. Now he can mix up that angle a lot as he charge up the strong pad, make it back safely. What a recovery. Yeah, so smooth, but jumps right into the hands of Hobart, who back throws him right back off the stage yet again. Try it again, he says. Yeah, Did it Falcon once. Skipped, uh, he skipped uh, the workout today, so he wasn't able to get the back and throw a kill, you know? Mm hmm. Can't get the up smash either. Another certain guy who does firework killed it there because he goes to the gym. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Doesn't skip those days, man. Gotta go no, to the gym every day. Never right? skips those days. Uh uh, uh uh. Tries to use the grenade there. No, doesn't have uh, a Wonder Wing, that so. That was a Wonder Wing. Yeah. That's input. And uh, that's the first stock with the Falcon dive. Now, now you have your full set of wings. You can start packing away at this lead bit by bit. I saw Winter say he's gonna start playing like signs where it's like upper stocks. You know the spies. Can't have Falcon. <laughs> That'll never get old. But now that's kind of backfiring on him a little, trying to find the space. Hobart's closing it up quickly, though. Yeah, I mean, like, he's really zone breaking right now, and Hobart's kind of got him in a spot right now. There's the down tilt. He's probably going to have to use another no wing. What a I catch. Hobart going deep. Catch. My god. Well played by Hobart, following the DI. As okay. now he takes the lead for the first time this game. Now, Hobart is off stage though, which is now finally snagged up on Winter back as the crowd was popping off for that Falcon dive, killing very early. Oh, that's a big punish right here. Yo! Ah, oh, Sour Spot again, so unfortunate. Hey, Sour Spot's the shock pad. Are you yeah, me? he is Sour Spot need literally everything in this matchup, and it's super unfortunate to see because he has had so many opportunities this time. Finally, the big knee. There's a sweet spot right here. Hobart's going to use that wall jump to make a little space there and make Winters have to use a wing there. I'm not going to lie, Hobart's heating up real crazy. Like, he is looking so good right now. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He is. Winters has been struggling to keep him off. As he does there, though. There we fair. go. That's Top what you're looking for. Us. Sorry, Hobart. Yeah, yeah that's... This is, this is now your weird side life. What do you have bring to the table? Yeah, and there comes in from Winters here. We might see a Wonder Wing finish this off, to be completely honest. It's been the bane of uh, Hobart's existence this entire set. It's kind of finished off a few games for him. True, yeah, but how many wings does he have? We're going to find out here. Just one. Just uh, a single wing to rule Winters. them all. Winters was doing really well with the tech of the wings, but now he's only got one shot to make it happen. He's Goes for it! There, and it's not going to pay off as the down tilt barely takes that stock. And we are moving to a game five. Oh, I know. I yeah. think either one will, though, if either wins. He's been, he's been popping off after each game. Yeah, I respect a, this a lot. It's a good set. This is a great set. This is potentially set of the night right here. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now. Yeah, it's been a good, it's been a good one for sure. We can see game five coming through. And again, the winner of this gets into the play-ins for the playoffs. So this is a huge implications. Yeah, we could get two people. We're getting two people tonight. We had Tone first, and now we have the winner of this next game, a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate right here. Shamir, they probably heard us. 
So they probably know the deal. They know what the deal is right they're now. Gonna, they're they're going to go do to it game for five. the content. They're going to pull an MRW and Sui. You know? Yeah. But we're going to Callus. Winters is, is going back. You know, Hobart first counter picked this, and we're just going back to a, a fifth game there. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to go back to the, uh, the alleyway you got mugged in right now, and now we'll see how that works out for him. I wonder if Winters up. is able to get that camping game going a little more. Wasn't able to pull a grenade there because it was still active. Into his own grenade? Oh, if he would have got the knee. What qualifies people for that? Top five at a local. And a big tech read again from Winters. Take a shot every time he's got a tech read, man. You're like five in. Yeah, it's just so good because, like, he puts you in that corner. What are you going to do, right? Like, he's going to hit you with it no matter what. Looking for the back air, not going to connect. you're in the corner if you're Winters, but... Hobart gives up a little too much stage control and gets snared for it, and now it's it's just back. They're just taking turns on the ledge right now, and it's all about who can capitalize the most. Winters flubbed, unfortunately, they have to miss it, put on the grenade, because he couldn't pull a second. You're not Snake. You're discount Snake. Yeah, and that's going to be an up B, catching him shielding a little bit too long up on that platform, trying to catch with a down tilt, doesn't reach, neither of those back airs. Big block right there, needed that. Now he's just kind of floating around trying to look for a wing, yeah, but not going to do it just yet. He's got two left. Gotta go for the Briggle Blammer, but the back air comes through. Now you have Hobart trying to make it pick up the ledge right now. Hobart trying to use that speed of Falcon to get away. That's it's going away a little far. That's a whoopsie daisy, but it's gonna get back up the ledge here and get back on the stage. Back air slides in. Absolutely, and he's got that's to burn a wing, and he burns the second wing. That's the Kenneth right there with the double wing right there, and now he's got Hobart in a tough spot. Goes for the down tilt, a little too slow in the startup, and it's not gonna do it. They're just pulling shield, smash four moment. Ah, uh, Winters blinks first, takes the Falcon dive for it. Yeah, that's one of those, what if we just stared gently into each other's eyes, eyes. old shield, shield, yeah. And play the neutral, man. That's yes. hot neutral right there. Smash 4 fans are thriving right now. Exactly. Winters is not thriving as he has no wing to make it back, but he's going to do the crazy recovery. Oh, catches it oh, oh, oh. The Nair slides in. Excellent Nair catching the bounce from the grenade. Now Hobart takes the lead this time. Yeah, Hobart looking to uh, maybe extend it here, get some extra credit, gets the up air, gets the read on the air dodge, and continues the pressure. American air dodge, which is coming back from Gali, you know, he's, he's going for the American air dodge again. Now he's getting kind of beat up for it a little bit. That race car driver, pretty strong. Yeah, this he should is. should be it, though. Yeah. All right, Hobart on the, or Winters on the board, rather. Yeah, and like Winters, you know, 64% definitely doable by all means, but there's a heavy knee, and there goes your stock, Hobart. Looking to finish this one off, Winters. Deep breaths, boys, there's a lot of smash to be played. Winters has got Hobart on the ledge once again. Gets a big fair. And there, can jump to the jump. Yeah, Winters. Uh, I didn't get that tech, though. Winters doing his damnness to stay alive right now as the grenade goes off, takes some damage, but avoids the Falcon dive. Fair catching out the edge guard. A miss input already burning a, a wing. You know, you only on your last stock. Don't have as many to work with. Yeah, this has been a download from Hobart, I feel. I feel like he's just been adapting so well as the down tilt comes parry. through. Great parry right there, and you're just going to push him off and set the ledge trap. Real Steve Perry vibes. Tries to get the down tilt, doesn't really work out. Andrew does this like big anime pose where he kind of puffs his chest out when he gets the parry. It's, kind of, it's one of my favorite parry animations. Very good. Throwing out a lot of moves there, but Hobart not being able to punish. Yeah, a little desperate there for that kill, but it'll come, it'll come with time as he gets that forward there. Trying to get another... He had, he missed, had it. Just missed the auto cancel window. Oh, jumps over the down smash, uses the Wonder Wing to escape just barely. I thought that Wonder Wing was going to hit the charge down smash, but it doesn't as Hobart's back here comes through. Winters yeah, Winters is in a bad spot right now. Oh, man, if he had the down tilt there for the air dodge, would over, but now this back here, and then, now you got one wing left. Sephiroth moment, but can Winters close out of stock to find a way to use it? Swings fair. fair. Still not enough. Callus backfiring a little. What's this edge trap you got? Yeah, let's see what he's got here. Tries to go for the air, but there's the Falcon dive. Now Winters, 132 percent, man. He's got to really try so hard here as the F tilt slides in. Wonder Wing, but the wrong way. He hates it. Unfortunate miss input. I think he was trying to set the grenade. Falcon That's it. Deck is gonna do it cross stage. Unfortunate for Winters, but Hobart taking a close game five. Cloud giving it up. A great set, nonetheless. Yeah, a whole round of applause.